<laughs> All right, let's uh, let's edit. Still loading in. Not like that. Uh. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Vivian? Hey, I'm good, thanks, guys. How are you? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, okay. cooked for usual. Yep. Yeah, same. Um. Okay. All right. To put it plainly, uh, since we last spoke, uh, you know, I've been weighing up a lot of options. I've spent mm. time talking to a lot of people and getting different thoughts and opinions. And <laughs> um, there were people came back with a uh, kind of in a similar vein to as you were saying about me, but uh. It's just People came back saying the, the same name a couple of times, not more than a couple of times. And um, uh, Ruby's name was brought up. Mm. Uh, reflecting on it, I understand that you have concerns with Ruby. And, and there may have been like errors uh, in the past, things like that. But ultimately, yeah. I think. <coughs> well, before I speak to her, I'm trying to make a case to you, essentially. Um, I think the work that she's done with Shift 2 has been great. I've seen her handle members of the public. Um, and I've seen how irate they've got. And how much they have tried to get into Ruby's face. And she's always stayed calm and handled them well. Uh, I understand sometimes mistakes are made and sometimes they slip up, um, but I, I I don't believe that that is a major factor for her. Uh, I also feel as though uh, she is definitely someone who, if they, she doesn't agree with me, she will air that, and uh, she'll do so with the with the department's best interest at heart. Yeah, I believe that. Um, I mean, we can have our disagreements and things like that, but that's yeah. kind of also what I want. She's definitely not as stern as me. She's not as firm as me, but uh, she can put her foot down when she wants to. Yeah. Um. I, I think she'd be good, and I'm I'm willing to uh, see how we would work together. Yeah. Um. Uh, okay. The only thing is, is obviously I'm aware that she's not exactly your choice. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, she would be mine. And I do think yeah. out of everybody there is, <laughs> the better one. Yeah. Um, uh, she's done, she has done wonders for the officers within Shift 2. Now, I understand there have, you know, there may have been slip ups and stuff like that. Um, 
but that's something that I would then oversee in the position of chief anyway. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I appreciate you uh, being forthcoming. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that I think have happened over the... up no one's around Hello? Anyone here? Hello? Hello? Um... Honestly, I'm going to do electrical work. Here's the reason being. We have to plan ahead. We need to be smart. Actually, no, we're dumb. Yeah, this is fine.
you your money, bitch. Whoa! Oh, slice and dice your ass, son. Yeah, give me that shit. Oh, hell yeah, yeah, give me that. Give me that money, bitch. Give me that motherfucking money, bitch. I'll cut your ass up, son. Fuck, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Come here, bitch. You ain't innocent. You ain't innocent. Yeah, give me that shit. Homies, what the fuck, man? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give me that shit, fuck boy. You too, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Yeah, put them hands up. Put them motherfucker hands up. Yeah, I'll cut you up like goddamn oh, sushi, motherfucker. Well, homie, you think because we the same, you gonna get away? Give me that shit, son. Give me that prison wall, bitch. Damn, man, I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'll fucking cut you up. Big and mighty, drop the fucking bar, bitch. Yeah, you weak ass pussy, get slumped. Give me that shit, you don't need it no more. Who you walking up on? Yeah, son, don't move. Don't move. I'll fucking cut him. I'll fucking slice him. Come here, bitch. Holy shit. Yeah, remember this face, motherfucker. Put you in the shower, make you drop the soap type what shit. The fuck? Yeah, gotcha. One suit, bitch. Yeah, come here, give me that shit, give me that, oh yeah. Man, my pocket is nice today, hey. Sit on this, Man, bitch, oh, give me that. Shit, give that. me that. Give it to me now. Give me them shoes. Oh, God, no. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Fucking get rich out of here, boy. Oh, hell. Give me it. Give it to me. Yeah. Oh, hell's right, motherfucker. You gonna see hell if you don't give me that money. The hell? Man, they are on one. You move, your homie. Get it. Drop the bar, bitch. No way. Yeah, give me your shit. Give me your shit. I need them credits, boy. Give me your fucking credits. Oh, God. That's what I'm talking about. Anyone else want something? Man, what the fuck? Remember it, bitch. Oh.
Hello. Let's go and get a bite. The last couple days. Wait, I got an idea. I got an idea. Give me that. Give me this. Pop that right there. We take this. Go over here. Listen to this for a little bit. This is what five pounds of body fat looks like. Want to lose this and more? Keep watching. You can actually take your body and. All right. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, okay. Cooked, per usual. Yep. Yeah, same. Um. Okay. All right. To put it plainly, uh, since we last spoke, uh, you know, I've been weighing up a lot of options. I've spent mm. time talking to a lot of people and getting different thoughts. You know, why don't I just like instead of doing that, I just add another screen, like capture screen. And then it, it just plays off of what I'm sharing. That way I can watch too. Ah, fuck. Get down, motherfucker. Get down. Get down, pup. What do you want? You got strip ass nails. What do you want? What do you want? I love you. I love you. I do. I do. Yeah. I love you too, baby boy. Lay down. Be a Lay down. I don't understand why these gates don't open. Like, talk about a real design flaw. <laughs> I sense there's been a very 
unnecessary pressure that's uh, been put on you and frankly put on a lot of officers as the last three days while trying to, you know, talk to uh, different officers, I've been getting phone call after phone call for what can best be described as uh, paranoia, anxiety, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and I want to ask you rather flatly: Has anyone indicated uh, to you or others that a chief of police needs to be chosen immediately? Has anyone indicated to me that one needs to be chosen yeah. immediately? You are like other officers. No. No, not not as far as I'm aware. Okay. Because, um, okay. Um, I know for me, uh, like, it's been, I felt a bit like I've been in limbo a little bit because obviously I put plans in place and I'm kind of itching to get started, but I'm also aware that nothing is set in stone, right? And things yeah. could change. Yeah. Uh, it was I, also kind of awkward trying to have conversations with people when you're potentially yeah. taking somebody's possession and stuff like that that was that I, was the only issue agree. that i was having and i think there's a lot of mistakes i made along the way one is the blurting out of what i did setting a timeline um and transparently vivian i've barely been able to think with the amount of other officers literally blowing up my phone at a increasing rate as Wait, really? it, it's been so bad uh, what, I mean, hang on. Wait, you had officers demanding that you appoint a chief? No, but that's what they think is happening. It's it's hard to explain how... You know, have you ever seen that little emoji called weedage? <laughs> it's like you know something's there, but it shouldn't be there. You, you kind of right. get what I'm saying? And yeah. It makes it everything very awkward for me. Um, and in turn, I feel absolutely awful indirectly kind of putting you in this position because it's hard for me to like not feel as though you're getting some of that pressure. Um, uh, and I mean, I'm, just, I'm just here doing what I'm doing. At the end of the day, even if things don't work out, I can still you know, use my plans somewhat for Chef One, right? Yeah. So it's not like I'm doing everything and thinking, oh my God, this is going to go to waste. And yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really feel too much pressure. I just, I struggle to try and have conversations in a, Agreed. like a concealed manner in a way to try and get opinions on things, you know? Mm. Yeah. My, my, um, my, I think biggest struggle when talking to officers, they indicate that to me is, um, at the end of the day, the PD is not my primary set of constituents. Um, right. It's the, let's say, 350 people that voted for me, all of which did so under very particular wishes. Yeah. And I see the police department as an extension of their wish, right? Um, and right. my... You know, there was never, you know, my original timeline was to give uh, Barrick four weeks. And I think with uh, him flipping, I don't know, really threw my plans out of place. Right. And with this empty hole in shift two, which is really where most of my constituents come from. It leaves me in a position where I say, well, I cannot leave that. Un mm, how do I put this? I cannot make a decision without a clear compatible plan even if that means i gotta wait and even if that means it's going to result in um people feeling a certain kind of way and uh at the end of the day um if i do not hold to their wishes then i never should have been elected to begin with now um, where does that leave things? Um, Ruby is the reason this snowball is one of the reasons that I snowballed into taking this position. 
I can never see her, regardless of what she's done for the LSPD, in the position of ass chief or a member of high command. Um, Why, even under a new chief? Mm -hmm. Can I ask why? Um, yes, I don't think she cares about the people. I think she only cares about cops. I don't... I disagree with that. Yeah. And, and you know, you might be right. But... The thing you know, is, is that's how people view Ruby now, who's under Barrick, who has mm. very much not done fucking anything. She didn't want to provide a FOIA to me. Which ultimately resulted in me screaming at Crane after her and other members of high command brought it up for him, resulting in that FOIA legislation that is there now. When I simply asked for a little bit of help for me and the rest of the lawyers. Mm. The only thing that came out of her mouth was, well, it's not in legislation. And I remember the cheeky way she said it. <coughs> and that is not somebody that is for the people. And the only time she perked up outside of that is when she was under the impression that Tilly had leaked documents to me. And to me, that spoke volume. We're going to get squad downloaded. And, you know, um, and then came the incident where I had a client in the cells dying. He had been left in there for like 20, 25 minutes, piss all over the place slammed his head against the, the toilet blood everywhere and me and his arresting officer stood around our, um, went over there he was trying to figure out what to do with him I'm like listen we gotta call EMS bring in the doctors and her and Frost come over Frost starts screaming at me and um, these two are in, like more clearly worried about what's gonna happen um, to the PD image rather than what's happened to this guy which in and of itself was exceptionally shocking. And, um, and so okay. while these may have been exceptions, you know, for me to say, hey, let's have this person, I, while I have a platform that's so the antithesis of that, and it's based on some of those experiences to say, you know what, let's give it a shot and, uh, have her take over the shift where all my you know where all my votes came from it, it'd be insane okay so the thing is is uh if that really why did nothing happen at the time uh which which one like uh it, you know these these things that you've just informed me of that they're, they're pretty egregious right like i the i would be mortified the foyer and the and the uh, your client in the cells, right? Because Barrick was the chief of police. Right, but it, he will not be the chief of police. Bro, do think the twenty-seven months. Right. I do not have faith that I would hold Ruby accountable, and I would ensure that that shit doesn't happen. Hmm. Uh, I trust that. That's a good question. Vivian and I think you would but her simple appointment in and of itself is and will be a massive optics error because the people that I have sworn to serve when I stood in the room and took an oath alongside Andy and the others in that room, I'd be going against that oath. Yeah, I, I understand what you're trying to say. Uh, the, the, the thing that I have issue with is that, you know, sort of uh, contemplating like the, uh, 
potential candidates and stuff like that for assistant chief. Mm. Uh, we've come across a few who have, you know, uh, marks across their, I don't know, record. Well, so let me let me ask um, you something. Did what happened this morning? Did it actually happen? Because I'm confused. Because I don't know if it did or did it anymore. <laughs> it did. Oh my God! So oh. yeah, so we got Peters. That's an Miracle. option. So Peters. There are other reasons yeah. why I would not have Peters. Wait, what do you mean other reasons? No, what well, you... I, before all of <laughs> the thing that happened this morning that didn't happen this morning happened. Uh, I was informed yeah. of a report that uh, where Peters had <laughs> incapacitated the suspect and not even written a report. Wait, there. it got red card, bro. Wait, what? Nearly a month ago. Yeah. Um, but then there was also one where he threatened to kill a hostage and another officer witnessed it. Uh, there's there's a few things that are being looked into right now. Yeah. Uh, okay. I've prompted VCSO and spoken with the command today because I want to know the outcome of that. Okay. Um, Let's say that was all looked into and it was found all above board, right? We'd still. Yeah. So we got Peters. Then, we got Liam. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't think I want Nino as an ass chief. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I'm not, I don't want him there either. <laughs> I have no I'm interest joking. in. I'm, in joking. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, you're fine. Um, I, yeah. I, I mean, listen. No I appreciate it. I've thought about it because technically nothing in legislation disallows me to become the chief of police but you know i simply want the boat in place and then set it sail and then i'm done and i i am very aware of what of, of what your intention is um i just cannot put the boat in when there's a clear massive break in the hull which is shift two <laughs> you get right. what i'm saying no i i understand but I feel like with the correct person to steer that ship, i.e. myself, yeah. above Ruby, to hold her accountable and see the results I from can. her, yeah. that Shift 2 could get back on track. You know, here's what's kind of odd. Um, and this is might help paint a picture of why I went from like enjoying my ride with Liam getting the norm just being like kind of just like wanting to put more space in between all this is um uh and and letting it simmer longer i get in the vehicle with with with, with liam and um my phone starts blowing up and it went Ruby, yourself, McNulty, within the span of five minutes. When was and that? It, it was, well, I was with Liam just a little, like, like two hours back. Oh, you were with him today? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I was with Liam. We were, because, uh, you know, I wanted to pick his brain and get an right, I, right, idea. Right, right, right. I yeah, need to know Steven who he Vincent. is, because, yeah. you know. No, I got it. And, um, and then I eventually, you know, McNulty calls me back, and he, it sounds like he's in the middle of a shootout, and he's like, Hey, by the way, uh, yeah, you know, I want to be chief of police or assistant chief, and I, I'm pretty sure I wanted to do that. And I'm like, brother, we had four conversations. You originally said you didn't want to do any of that shit, and then you told me you weren't interested in any of it. It's like, no, we only talked once. We spoke four times. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, and so I hope you understand like why I'm like, where is this coming from, right? Like, where, why is this anxiety? Like, why are people freaking out? And, and then he tells me, Ruby told him. What? Yeah. Uh, I feel like you might be shielded from some of the, the, the crazy that's happening. And that's no, coming my way. I have way. a feeling it's because it's potentially going to me. I have that yeah. feeling. Mm -hmm. Which shouldn't even be there to begin with. No. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, you know, if, if I seem a little despaired, it's because very similar like the incident earlier today, even just this whole situation in general is just so odd. Yep. 
Um, um, so McNulty, I, yeah, like I, I have considered him. I spoke to you earlier today about him. Uh, but I, I'm also aware that he is very shift two oriented. Yeah. He's never gonna look at the wider picture. No, he he literally, in the call was like, yeah, I'll take chief, I'll take ass chief. Oh uh, yeah, but you know, I mostly want to do patrol. Don't want to do the paperwork. Oh by the way, I'm in like a, a shootout. Yeah, I'm like, well, wait, wait. I, I'm like, hey, can wait? Can you explain your thought? And he's like, no, no. Um um. And then, and he's like, hey, I gotta go. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, so, at most, I would put McNulty as a captain and never ask chief. Yeah. Um, the reason being is that he will openly say, well, not my shifts, whenever he's in shift one. Bearing in mind he's on patrol in shift one, he's still a lieutenant. It doesn't matter whether it's his shift or not. Mm. He is still a lieutenant of the LSPD, and he has the attitude of, well, not my shift. Yeah. Uh, if an officer, if a shift one officer receives a complaint, well, shift one things. Um, that's not an assistant chief. That's a captain. At best, I still wouldn't expect that as a captain or a lieutenant, to be honest with you. That's not what I'm looking for, mm. attitude-wise. But that is not an assistant chief. Yeah. But even this, what I perceive to be a bit of a, I don't know why, where Ruby and why she did what she did today, I'm just going to add to the pool. And, and I get, I trust you, but, you know, there's like that saying about, you know, um, she's got too much baggage for me to be comfortable. I want to, um, I need time to think. Today's been a hell of a fucking day for me. Um, and, uh, um, no, I, I completely understand. Um, and, uh, you know, okay. I, as I've said before, uh, unless I feel comfortable that my decision is gonna represent those I've taken an oath to, um, I don't really see an objective reason why a decision needs to be made i've yet to actually hear one um y'all are running um running but um you know i genuinely don't think this pd can get any worse <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of my mentality on it yeah that's why i'm kind of willing to give that a go uh, i just i really don't want to be fucking around with people um, yeah. so much within the department that it has an adverse effect to the point where I probably would have to be removed for anything to yeah. be able to work I think um, um, there's something I, there's something I'm going to email you about and okay. uh, I'm not going to say it out loud because I don't want it to get out yeah no I gotta okay um, well I'll let you mull over everything. I'll yeah. go away, mull over everything. I would uh, ask a favor. Okay. That if there is a rat fuck going around, starting amongst the PD, implying we need to make a decision ASAP, please do let me know, because I'm going to have a very yeah. clear choice set of words for them. Because okay. it is dangerous. It's toxic. <clears throat> And if it's causing a severe amount of paranoia among the police force, I'm gonna make it very clear that that needs to stop. Yeah. No, I get it. Okay. All, All right. right. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah. I appreciate that, Vivian. All right, you both have a good evening, okay? You good? Okay. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Hey, Nina. Hey, how you doing? Good. This room smells like you haven't left it in three weeks. No, I, I started to. Um, in fact, the first week I spent about 50 hours in here. Uh, and then when I got back from my day off, I was like, not anymore. So now I kind of move a little bit. But um, That's good. Yeah. yeah, if you spend too much time in one location, you start to fucking hate it. Yeah, I'm also not like, I get claustrophobic like when I'm in a room. 
So that's why I like the quad center, you know, up on a mountain somewhere, you know, something along those lines. Um, yeah, 100%. All right. Uh, what do you want to talk about? So uh, a couple areas of, like, kind of clarification because I don't want to uh, spin the wheels too much in, like, the wrong di uh, direction. Um, Sorry? So the weed legislation that came out that was very helpful for the um, decriminalization stuff. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I was very interested in allowing for in the county of Los Santos is uh, legal uh, grow houses and dispensaries. And inherently, the idea would be that there would be a high level of restriction uh, by... So the idea would be that you got to be clean, the employees got to be clean, and in addition to that, there would be like a series of restrictions around it. Very similar to how it was like uh, five plus years ago. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, the dispensaries would follow a very similar system. Um, and each of those entities would be given like very specifically. Right, so there wouldn't be like many of them. There might be like three of each at most, with no crossover. So, in other words, the grow house would have to sell to the dispenser, like a dispensary with his like no affiliations. Um, now, with these, no, with the legislation that's in place, obviously that wouldn't be possible given the, you know, the one ounce uh, restriction. If I read it uh, properly, so. I guess my question is, let's say I wanted to go down this route. Um, what would my first step be? Well, um, for something as big as this, well, you probably would need to rope in the DOJ. Um, mm -hmm. th this would probably be something that would require a pretty big uh, reform effort to be made outside yeah. of just Los Santos County. Okay. Um, because at this point, you're talking about changing laws um, and essentially enabling people to, or not changing laws, but you're creating exceptions for existing laws. So, you know, allowing people to cultivate, allowing people to possess in certain amounts or under specific circumstances. I don't think anyone is opposed to this, mm. but I do think that the Department of Justice is concerned about the large amount of um, criminal drugs uh, and the amount of money that people are uh, essentially thieving from the state uh, with them. Absolutely. So, so, you know, it's not in our interest to provide a way for criminals to have an even more convenient and easy way to do their mm -hmm. ill dealings. So something like this were to happen, it should be a system that is well taxed, well regulated, and thoroughly uh, enforced. Absolutely. So, like, I'm um, talking, I, I think it should be extremely regulated to the point yeah. where if somehow a criminal element put their hand in it, they would pretty much be exposed opening themselves up to getting hype of fuck yeah i think that's that's totally uh, acceptable um and really at this point for your legislation nothing will need to change it would really just be the department of justice would have to do a rework of some of our laws to essentially okay. kind of mesh them with what you want to do what you do is not going to affect Blaine county though so we essentially maintain like standard laws that are statewide and we're willing to change those and amend them specifically for specific counties if it would cause issues but okay. a lot of stuff is going to be case by case basis right? okay um, perfect so so I let's think say the first thing is let me uh, let me gra grab all the other justices uh put okay. this in front of them see exactly what they want from it and i could probably just meet with you and uh start going through specifics of what we want to see and how we're going to mm. do it um so we can get this moving forward easy that was going to be like the next let's say stage of legislate like we got a bunch of stuff we're looking to push tonight mm -hmm. but this was like kind of the next uh leg we were going to go down um the primary thing is uh it's interesting um i think it can uh, develop a lot of culture in los santos and possibly open up some interest for the pd side of things is it do, uh would you like us to kind of put something uh together um so that there's something in writing to kind of see where we're going with it so we have something mm -hmm. to you know start a conversation over it, yeah it's much easier for me to bring it to the justice and say listen okay. nino and his cabinet want to do this 
um, this is what would be needed from us, or what, what do we think about this, rather than me trying to explain what, what we just talked about here to them. So. Absolutely. So if you have a document, because usually when it comes to uh, legislation, it's much easier to just put it in front of them okay. and uh, have them read through it and give their thoughts, okay. rather than explaining to them. Hell yeah. The emails, you know what I mean? Okay. It's obnoxious. So. so yeah, if you put together like a legislation piece or the idea board or whatever, what your direction you want to go is, I'll uh, bring it with them. And you okay. Discuss it. All right, easy. And and so I guess like in within that topic, and I don't, I don't see any other areas where we're, there's any like uh, contesting that we need to do uh, in regards to like state legislation. But let's say uh, the time came. Oh, actually, uh, we can use the FOIA one, for example, right? Mm -hmm. um, so the response on the uh, on the um, on the legislation board, let's call it, uh, was there it is outside the scope of the like it it, it, it it goes against the Constitution given the fact that the uh, profiles are considered internal documents um, mm -hmm. let's say we wanted to challenge that um, and or or something uh, along those lines what that is would there be a, a legislative review um, then okay and would the mayor's yeah. office go through the regular means or would, do we would we do it like uh so yeah so if you wanted to challenge something like that then you are going to go to the let's see if i can find exactly what it's called legislative audit damn this is boring there's no one around hey that's crazy I homie beer of four right now Audit procedure. Um, Who's Miller? I'm gonna do that <laughs> shit to someone Make else. Make sure everything's on him, because so, I want Miller to do everything. Uh. He's GSR positive. I will tell you that part. You're good. You're, you're good to search him. They want stuff? Yeah, well, why shoot? Okay, you like see guys, all the me? cops right there. You know you're going to shoot, Hello. and they're either going to start shooting or swarm, Hi. which they did, and nobody robbed anybody. I was talking to the patient. So you're just shooting people, sending people to jail for but, hi. no reason. Oh, I, I got shot in my neck. Oh, no, wait, in your where? My neck. I'm your neck? Uh, You'd be... They said they I want really six guns. Well, in they your neck six guns, did they? How'd I do with your the first aid? It'd be really bad. Now they got oh, you some actually other did really well. Thank you. Oh, my God. You I learned how to doll. Yeah, good at Don't pin up the TV app, no, he ain't, no, he ain't good at shit, but singing. Yo, Mr. K, said, Mr. K said, Mr. K said, keep fucking yapping and be a good-ass fucking member, like the bitch you are. Yeah, I am a good-ass fucking member. That's right. That's, That's fucking right. Bro. Oh, and I was told, Ramos, sure, sure. hey, I got beef, I got beef with people too, man. You got beef with me? What you, what you got beef with? Yeah, Mr. K told me that before I was okay, CG. You was the main guy that didn't want me in CG. I didn't want anybody I in can't... CG. I didn't want you. I didn't want fucking Takeda. I didn't, I don't, I, I got nothing. So you just want to CG to be UNK, sucking each other no. up. No, I didn't want anybody in CG. I don't like newcomers. I didn't want Chris in the gang. I didn't want uh, Damn, dude. Richard. Yeah. So it's He's not wrong. About it, man. That's it's not what I said. You know That's what? not what I said. See, the thing is, Peanut, I, I, I'm not afraid to tell you how I, how I felt, okay? Obviously, I don't feel like that anymore. But at the time, listen, I've seen people come and go in our fucking gang, bro. A lot of people like to use what we got going on, and I didn't, it's, not, it's not a you issue. You know, Zaki knows I didn't want him. I fucking hated Richard. Chris knows I didn't want I didn't want, you know?
Man, there ain't nothing good to do today. Oh, man. Can we have an admin at the prison? Again, got a new lifer that is just running, punching, and doesn't. Can we get an admin at the prison? We got life for again that is just punching. Um, <sighs> like the word. Oh, shit, the shit. Lock is broken. What? Look for the keys inside. Right. Maybe they leave it under the day. Let me see. We check back there. See, tell me if you find me. Okay. Oh, I got it. Got it? They left the key here. It's oh, moving. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to be in the car, but go to the GPS, okay? Right. I'm going to be here, okay? I'm going to jump in the back, okay? I'm going to just uh, jump under. What's happening at prison? All right, what am I in the SRT Durango? Oh, 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 this big car. What's that? Oh, shit. What the fuck? Did I take him with him? Everybody jump oh, yeah, this motherfucker up over here. We got, uh, Who's that? I don't know. He... Can you guys hear me? Hello? 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 Local oh, guards, take take uh, the quantum ass peanut to his fucking cell. Thank you very much. Where's the little cell off for peanut here? What is it? Um, what, what is um, what is this thing name? That miss it? Fuck. Sure, I'm so stupid. What is it? It's not in here. Where is it? Where'd he go? Oh, man. Oh, man. Give him a knife again. Yo, I dodged Yo, that shit. I don't know what you're talking about. Hold on, hold on. What nah, the fuck are you guys doing right now, okay? Hey, Dude, you want to get hey, banished? Hey, inmate, give him a fuck. Hey, inmate, give him a fuck. What the fuck are you doing? Back up, hey, another inmate. Help me. Hey, I'm taking this knife help off of him. Taking this knife off of him. Get him, dude. Get him, DOC. Get him. Okay, back up. What's going on, okay? You summon local DOC. What's going on? Yes, so there was... Hold on, Peanut, one second. Peanut, Peanut. Hold on. Peanut. We had a, we had a guy, uh, he, you know, he was refusing. Oh, <coughs> no. That's what happens when you don't listen. That's what happens. That's what happens. <laughs> he, was, he was refusing to talk to oh us. God, he was squaring up and punching people. And he was just acting real weird. He went off running that way. But he had a spider, so we couldn't really catch up to him. Do you remember his inmate number? Him. Most important thing, I need his inmate number. Uh, I believe it was 607. No. Okay. What? It wasn't. It was 647. Or 647. 647. Yeah, 607 was Matt, the guy can earlier. I, can I take you to the infirmary, Matt? No, please. Yeah, you can take him. You can take him. I'll take care of business on that guy. Where's the other one? Where'd he go? The fuck is this guy doing? Hey! 607, right? MA, 607, what the fuck are you doing? Did I give you permission to be on rooftops? Hello? Hey! Hello? Chad, this is a guy. It's 607, what do you, Who the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Is this, a, is this somebody? Who is that? I don't see the number they're talking about. Oops. 
weapon. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, yeah, that's that's silly. Uh, there he is. There he is. I found him. That name's it's Peter. Where is he? Where is he? Right here, right here. So, 607. 607. This is the inmate! This is the inmate! Yeah, that's him. Okay. Alright, go ahead and take care of business. Okay, thank knock you. him out, knock him out. Go ahead. Oh, knock him out. Yes, take care. I need him. I need him knocked out. This is what happens, you don't listen to local DOC. Oh, no, don't. DOC, get his ass! Get him! Get him! Get him! Don't hit me! Get him! I need gotcha, him. He's not gotcha, listening, bitch. get him. Oh, okay, thank you, you. I'll take care of him. I'll take care of him, thank you. Hello, do you speak? Speak. I try to talk to you. You're not speaking. You're just walking around in a circle. You just keep running. What is happening? What are you doing? Why don't you listen? Okay. Well, I'll try to roleplay this guy. He fails the test. Therefore, he will be kicked. Fix your microphone, and don't break character. There, problem solved. Okay, now you go back to my other job. What's fucking Apollo's name? Oh my god, dude. Where is this guy? I gotta find him. Inmates, it's been Dicky Killer. Thank you so much for reporting that, right? Oh my God. Thank, Thank you, Sky you, Daddy. Daddy. Yes, you my you. um do you see messages I'm sending out to this guy? Do you see that or no? No. Uh, no, sir. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'll get that um I'll get that um appropriate. Thank you. Appreciate it, thank you. Uh, chat, you must you must be a true mosh, right? The car is at shoot much by now. Ha, I'm such a genius. Oh my god, I'm here. What the fuck? <coughs> where's the car? My car, where is it? Oh shit. I have to play our blip thing. Uh, while we're waiting, we do have another complaint to make against LSPD. Okay. Uh, Dead Shice. Oh, hold on, Crane's here. We're talking Crane. Uh, that will be a complaint made towards a senior. I'll get one of the seniors down here. No! Hello, oh, it's me, Lieutenant again. Declan Crane, here to hear your complaint. Hello, Mr. Crane, and hello, Ruby. Yeah. Hello, I'd like to make an official complaint against, uh, Mason oh, Dixie. Here. Okay. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. I am good to go. Okay. Uh, earlier today, I was taken as a hostage for a cash exchange. Uh, when the officers arrived, which they did in a reasonable amount of time, when they arrived, uh, the officers who came in was Mason Dixie and her cadet, whose name I do not know. Mason Dixie came in uh, and did not care very much for my life. Uh, they, were, they were joking along with the hostage takers, uh, trying to act as if they were good friends. They were complimenting each other's guns. Uh, and basically ignoring my existence. He was saying, oh, wow, you've got an extended Glock? I wish my Glock was as cool as your Glock. Um, and basically wasting everyone's time. 
uh, all of a sudden one of the one of the people who were taking me hostage moved in a certain way uh to where he was aiming a gun at an officer and then he said listen here you mother if you aim that gun at me i will shoot all of you down like the little that you are we didn't say the little shits or something along that he was insulting i can't remember exactly but i remember specifically he said if you aim that mother gun at mother me i will sh something insult you gun you down right uh okay. he, he called all of them a motherfucker and then all of a sudden all three of them heard that and going whoa 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 what are you calling me and they, they all, all the hostage takers became karens and then they all pulled out their guns and they all started aiming it at me and they all said hey i will kill this hostage i'll kill this hostage if you talk shit to me like that as well there was one more thing that he had but I, I honestly i can't remember what it was but ultimately throughout the whole interaction i felt like that mason dixie was gonna get me killed mason dixie did not care that guns were pointed at me in any capacity he joked with the hostage takers he laughed at the hostage taker well, he laughed at me sorry not the hostage takers he insulted the hostage takers. why did he why did he laugh at you oh because i was getting taken hostage like, oh, uh, what did he say exactly? He's like, it's croc. <laughs> wink, wink. Uh, yet not croc. Wink, wink. Don't want him to know it's you. Wink, wink. Making fun of my fact that I'm missing an eyeball. Oh. So he made fun of the fact that I was missing an eyeball as well. Uh, what did he say about your eye? <laughs> well, he didn't like make fun of my eye, but he like went up and said, <laughs> not Steve. Wink, wink get it wink, oh wink. so he was like like running in from a person in a wheelchair kind of yeah pretty much okay got it um I, I, he was also wearing a mask uh, I, I, like i i don't i couldn't identify this man like he, he was he was wearing a, a half mask i felt i felt very unsafe yo cherry hello did he introduce himself or how'd you ID him? Uh, he only, only had to like, introduce himself because i had to ask four times like what's your name what's your oh, name okay um the cadet didn't really do anything wrong uh when the cadet came for my statement when they left i said uh, i do not wish to speak to you i feel very unsafe around this officer i feel like my life is in danger and i feel um i feel that uh i'm being targeted and harassed i felt i felt like uh i was not careful i felt like i had any uh, they went he was antagonizing the hostages making fun of my injury and pretty much made it clear that he was not a fan of me he was here to basically do his job uh, also, all the cops involved okay. uh, lost the car in one corner. So, uh, yeah, going great with that. <laughs> all right. So that's my complaint against uh, Dixie. Okay. Uh, were there others? Uh, Vuby York was there, although I'm not formally filing a complaint against her. She didn't necessarily do anything. Wrong. Okay, I can talk to her and see what she observed. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, anything else you would like me to add to the report? Ruby was kind of in and out. I I don't think she saw much. Can't recall. Maybe she did. Don't know. They, they, it was kind of like it was okay. kind of like you know when like you just show up and like you've done the routine so many times that if something that usually doesn't happen happens or something that shouldn't happen happens, you kind of just miss it because you're so used to this stuff going on. I, I, I'm pretty sure Ruby didn't take any. San Bravo, we're reading 70 bogeys in your sector. Please verify. <laughs> Very funny station. That's a big negative, over. Yeah, might be a glitch in one of the ACS modules. San Bravo, be advised, running diagnostics to scan for malfunction. The skies are clear, station. You've got yourself some phantom dots. Over. Zulu X-ray 6, signs in your sector of some 100 bogeys. Please advise. Negatory station. Scope is clear. I don't know what to tell you. Solar interference, heavy sunspot activity today. Sierra Delta, uh, we may have a minor ACS fault here. Do you have anything on your scope? Sierra Delta, repeat. I'm looking at fighter jets over I-95! How the hell did they get through?
Stand by, attempting to contact the nearest unit in that sector. I read you. This is 1st Battalion, 75th Ranger Regiment. Sergeant Foley, acting commander of 100... Yo, I remember when that was like fucking sick as shit. I'm running and my character's like still hurt. materials and Overlord this is Hunter 21 requesting a uh. Today's reading is from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. It says, For if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of truth, there no longer remains sacrifice for sins. So if we go on living and keep sinning after God has revealed himself to us and we understand that Jesus died on the cross and rose again and died for our sins, um, it says there no longer remains sacrifice for our sins. And God is saying once he re reveals himself to you, he's just, and you don't follow him, he's going to let you get what you want in your heart, your flesh, the desires. You're going to follow your heart and it's going to destroy you instead of following him. But if you feel conviction from God, that means he's still with you. So, but if you don't feel him and you're following your heart and you know of God, then you should turn and make sure you start following God. But it talks about in, in the book of Romans, chapter one, verse 21, it says, for although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking and their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. So basically these people knew God and they chose to follow their own hearts instead. And God's wrath on these unrighteous people was letting them follow their own heart and destroy themselves. So when you receive the knowledge of truth, make sure you continue to follow God. Thank you for watching.
the drugs, smoking, uh, drinking, partying, you know, doing things I shouldn't be doing. Not knowing that, you know, those things have effects, negative effects in the long term, especially. But, um, so uh, fast forward, I'm still doing these things. Then I finally, uh, I moved back home from college to live in a house on my own. And I'm still doing drugs, I'm still drinking. I get, you know, I'm not going to church, I'm not reading the word, I'm not doing any of that. I, but I do pray every night. I used to pray every night before I go to bed. It's something I would do. <clears throat> like the Lord, yeah. I would actually pray that God would do something in my life. The drugs, smoking, uh, drinking, partying, you know, doing things I shouldn't be doing. Not knowing that, you know, those things have effects. I'm still praying in my life. The I don't think the shirt was long enough. I don't know what he was trying to get or uh, say. Thank you. Yeah, which verse? Okay, read 171 for me. Which verse? I just said 171. <laughs> Chapter 4, verse yeah. 171. All right. Wait, one second, one second, one second. All right, I'm giving you more than one second. One, 1,000, two, 2,000, three, 3,000, four, three. All right, yeah, I got it. You got it? Yeah, okay, so people of the scripture... Do not commit excess in your religion or say about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, was but a messenger of Allah and his word, which he directed to Mary and a soul from him. Now, so correct, Allah, please, correct, do me a favor, correct that mistranslation of the Arabic. You read the Arabic, it doesn't say soul. What does it literally say? I'll correct read the Sahih. English, I was reading the English translation. You want me to read the Arabic? No, but hold on. You're reading Sahih International, right? Uh, okay. I skipped the... No, yeah, but correct, it doesn't say soul. If you know Arabic, you know this word soul is nafs, and it doesn't say soul. Here. I don't know. Let me read the Arabic. Yes. Go ahead, please. If it's waruhun minhu. Okay, now translate that literally for me. A spirit from him. Okay, thank you. Read it one more time slowly because you have people listening who don't know. Oh, okay, okay, I see. I need uh, one and two. Talk that shit! Talk that shit, son! Give me that money! Give me that money, boy! 
Who you think oh, you talking to? No. What up? What up? Yeah, give me your shit. Play your motherfucking hands up. Yeah. And I'll cut your ass up, boy. Turn you into some Swiss baloney looking ass pussy. Oh, Tell that shit again. No, Arabic. I want you to confirm Excuse that what me. you just read in Sahih International did not translate the Arabic correctly. It doesn't say nafs. It says ruh. So it says Jesus is karimatuhu alqaha illa maryam, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. alqaha illa maryam. Okay, and then it says wa ruhin minhu, right? Yeah. Translate that for me. Literally, translate here. Let me tell you which part I want you to translate literally for people to follow. وَكَلِمَتُهُ أَلْقَاهَا إِلَّا مَرْيَمْ وَرُوخٍ مِنْهُ Translate that literally. And his word delivered to Maryam. Delivered? What does أَلْقَاهَا mean? أَلْقَاهَا means like delivered or casted. Or so see, that's the part I see. Now I'm loving you because you're being honest. Cast. What? Cast, right? That's the same. This is a synonym. Friend, you understand delivered, why. Throw, you, you can't cast, friend, if, you, if you stop arguing and just... Just translate cast. You'll see why it's not a synonym because words are defined in okay. context. Okay, cast is yeah, cast is good. Okay, I'm cast down to Miriam, right? Cast down to Miriam, a spirit from him, right? Cast towards Miriam. And a spirit from him, right? Yeah, a spirit from. Okay, him. here's my question, friend. Please answer the question. Please, please, my friend. I'm really trying to help you, and I don't want to. Yes. I don't want to put you on the spot because you're a young guy, but man, when people tap dance and don't answer, it bothers me. So please try to answer honestly. When it says his word, which he cast down from Mary and a spirit from him, please convince me that Jesus wasn't already existing with Allah before he came down to Mary as a spirit, because that's what the text just said. How did you find that within the okay, text? What does Ruch and Minhu mean? Does it mean spirit from who? Spirit from him. Who's him? Who's him? Allah. Okay, so he's a spirit from Allah, and then you just said his word which he cast down to Mary. If I cast something down, that means it has to be up, right? It right? doesn't necessarily have to be. It has to be from one point to yes, another. Yes, it has to be because it says cast down, which is why it says a spirit from him. So he came down. He was cast down from Allah as a spirit that entered Mary to become flesh. It's right there in front of you. It's right there, man. If I bring a blind man, he's going to see it. So what are, you, what are you trying to say here? I'm not saying anything about what your verse just said. Your verse just said Jesus was there as a spirit with Allah as his word, and then he came down to Mary. So now, how in the world are you going to convince me that Jesus is just a man? He, he is just a man. Okay, so what, so when wait, you're, when you're what was he when he was with Allah? And he's, when you, when, what was he when, when he was with he's, Allah before he came to Mary? It says he is the word. Allah. It just said, Kalimatuhu, his word, Allah's word. Sorry, your voice is cracking. He, he, the, Right? Yeah, Allah's word. He's Allah's, he's Allah's, okay. Allah's word. Okay, so what was he before he said, came down? What Sorry, was he, what was crying, he yeah. before he came down? The word of Allah. He's still the word of Allah. So what was he? It, it, it's right there. It's telling you, friend. It's right there. A spirit. What do you want spirit from? So how can you convince yes. me? Convince me he's just a man when you just said he was there with Allah as his word as a spirit So before he became man, he was already existing as a spirit with Allah because he was his word So now convince me he's just a man What you just read from your own Quran that that's all he is So so okay, it seems that when it says water from men who you think that means that he was existing with Allah I don't need to think that you Allah? just do we need to go through this again? I don't need to think that. The text says 
Karimatuhu al qaha Do you understand why I said translate al qaha That came down, yeah. and he came down as a spirit from him. That's the text. It's right there. So the angels gave the word to Maryam that Show me where the angels gonna... gave the word to Maryam, meaning Jesus, that the word they gave to Maryam was Jesus. They announced to Mary she's going to give yeah, birth to the word. That's not what so, the text says. It says Jesus is say, the word that came down. When we say he is a spirit from Allah or the word of Allah, we say the word of Allah because he's, the, he's Allah said, Kun for your Kun. You sure you want to go there? I want to make you think about it before you go there. You sure you want to use that argument? So I'm being nice. Okay, wait, let me go, let me go to the spirit part right now. Yeah. So when, when he is specifically called the spirit from Allah, this is like how we understand the house of Allah, the camel of Allah. He is a special Can spirit Can you stop from Allah. parroting the Salafi arguments because I want to demolish those arguments. I've heard your arguments. I, I've heard your arguments. Okay. okay. No, it's not like Beit Allah. That's not like, it's like Rahma. It's like <clears throat> Rahman, Rahim. It's like Ruh Allah. So you're comparing two different categories as if they're the same. Yes, I've heard the argument. It's like the camel of Allah or the house of Allah. No, it's not like that. It's like the Rahma of Allah. It's like the word of Allah. It's not like something created that belongs to Allah. It's one of the characteristics of Allah himself. Guy, I've heard your arguments. Please don't repeat arguments. I've already heard, been there, done that. So I'm going to ask you the question now. I'm going to ask you the question. Okay. You just said, you just said that the reason why Jesus is God's word because he was created by the command of Allah kun fayakun. You just said that, right? Yes. Okay. You sure you want to use that argument? Because I'm telling you, I've heard your arguments. I've heard your Muslim scholars. I wasn't born yesterday. I was born the day before. So I have an advantage. But anyway, you sure you want to use that argument? So I'm going to give you a minute to think about how bad of an argument that is. Yes, this is what the understanding of it is. Okay. Now, isn't it true that in chapter 3, verse 59 of the Quran, where Allah likens Jesus to Adam, that Allah said to Adam, Kun fayakun, be and he was. So he yeah. said that to Adam, right? Yeah. Okay, now so I'm going to challenge you. He's also. I'm going to challenge you. Just quote a single verse in your Quran or Hadith where Adam is called the word of Allah. There is none. Okay, but wait, your logic. Let me play your logic. You said Jesus mm -hmm. is the word of Allah because he was created by Allah's word. That means Adam should be called the word of Allah because he was created by Allah's word, but still he's not called the word of yeah. Allah. So because that's not the meaning. Yeah. That's not the meaning. Okay, so you want it to be specifically said with everyone that... No, I'm trying to use your words. argument. They don't change your argument. Your argument was... Yeah. Let me repeat your argument. See, again, you're not even listening to your own argument. Your okay, argument was... Argument. Can I, I repeat your argument? No. So everyone got how you just set yourself up. Your argument was, Jesus is God's word because Allah created him by his command. Kun fayakun. Well, hold on. Adam was yeah. created by Allah's command. Kun fayakun. And he's not called the word of Allah. Why not if your argument is right? He is the word of Allah too. It just Where? Say it. It you can to say no, it. no, no, no. You cannot add to the Quran and the Sunnah of your prophet. The only prophet that your own prophet called Kalimat Allah, Ruh Allah, which is in the Ahadith, is Jesus. Your prophet never said of anyone else, not even Adam, he's Kalimat Allah or Ruh Allah. He said Isa. Ibn Maryam, Kalimat Allah, Ruh Allah. So don't add to your prophet. Okay. Don't add to his the words. Verse, okay, the verse that says he is just like in the Kamathal Isa, Kamathal Adam. That is that verse. No, that actually says backfires against me. No, similar. That actually backfires against you. You know why? Because in making that argument, Muhammad again showed that he's not a true prophet. Because that's one of the worst arguments <clears throat> Muhammad could make. Because if that's true, Muhammad that Jesus is like Adam, and that Adam was made from dust, kun fayakun, then Adam should be the word of Allah and a spirit from him. But wait, Muhammad, you forgot. Adam is not said to be a spirit from him or Allah's word, which he cast down into the dust. So that argument shows Muhammad doesn't know what he's talking about. It's a bad argument because that backfires. You don't understand. I'm telling you, he is also the word of Allah. It just doesn't say. It says in that verse, he's just like... Do not add to that, the words of your brutal. prophet. Do not add to the words of your prophet. Your prophet could have said, 
that Adam is Kalimat Allah, Ruh and Min. But I guess he forgot because he was waiting for you to come in the 21st century to help him make that point. Please don't add to the words of your Prophet. Unless you can quote your Prophet saying, Adam is Kalimat Allah, Ruh Allah, Ruh and Min. Don't add to the words of your Prophet because your Prophet could have said it. He could have simply said, Hey, Adam, Kalimat Allah. Did he forget okay, or did let Allah me forget to argument against you. Let me use this argument against Please, you. Please, I want you. So, since the Quran is called the Furqan, it is the criteria and as for is by the which we should judge. Torah. That means uh, the Torah should also be called this. The Injil should also be called this. The no, Sufi Ibrahim the Torah is called the Furqan. My friend, but I don't find it in the Quran. No, 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 no. It's this backfired against you. You didn't hear what I said. The revelation of Moses is called the Furqan. So your argument just imploded oh, in your face. The poor Sufi Ibrahim. In no, Jir, it's called Furqan. Go, I'm going to embarrass you again. Go to chapter 40, verses 52. See, you're not listening. The more you open your mouth, the more I'm going to end up embarrassing you. The word you Furqan, let me, Torah, you want you me to finish it? The, the word Furqan is used of the revelation of Moses. That's what's, what's, what you just said. Well, that means the Torah should be called. Go to 40. I agree with that. Go to, I go, agree with that. Right, so are then you, you just show me the argument for the Zabur, the Sufi. Are you going to talk over? No, 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 no. Hey, hey. <laughs> Calm down. Breathe. That backfired against you. You embarrass over, yourself. Reverse. You embarrass yourself. Let me explain why. Because you said, well, the Quran's called for Khan, so the Torah should be in the God. Ah, but the Torah is. Oh, okay. I agree the Torah, but now show me the gospel. The fact that yeah, something. That's can that's I finish the point? Question. Can I finish the point before you embarrass yourself yeah. further? The fact that something other than the Quran is called Furqan proved my point. That means Adam could have also been called the word of Allah. He isn't. So booyah, it busted in your face. No, it did okay. not. You did Let's not repeat this again. Is something Buu other than the Quran, is something other than the Quran called Furqan, yes or no? Yes. Is the Torah also called the Furqan, yes or no? Yes. Okay. So then you just made my point. Allah could have also called Adam the word of Allah besides Jesus. He didn't. So it just busted and imploded in your face. You don't see that? No, I okay. understand what you're trying to say. You're trying to say that because there's someone else called the Quran, something else called the Quran. That was your argument, man. Dude, you know word. that's your argument? That's your Ever? argument. No, that's your argument. You just said everyone heard you. Oh, my goodness. No, no, I understand your argument. You're trying no, to say you're that the one who made the argument. The second word of Allah no, you made the oh, man. Listen, dude, you made the argument. Let me repeat what you said. You brought up Furqan. I didn't bring up Furqan. You said, hey, the Quran is called Furqan. Well, does that mean the Torah and the Gospel and Zabur are not called Furqan because it's never used of that? I said, no, it is. It's used of the Torah. So the very argument yeah. you used backfired against you to prove my point. Just like, oh, okay. can I finish the point? Just like. Okay. The Torah is also called Furqan, not just the Quran. Likewise, Allah could have called Adam the word of Allah like he did Jesus. So the argument you use proved my point and imploded in your face. Aren't you getting it? Oh, it, did. it didn't. You want me to tell you why? This is silly, man. Okay, because Yeah, it is you silly. Your arguments are silly. Scripture. I told you all of the scriptures are called the same exact thing, but they're not all called. No, them. you can't. No, don't add to that. that. No, 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 no. You're not Muhammad. You can't tell me what the scriptures are called unless Muhammad told you. Stop adding to the words of your prophet. All you can tell me is Torah is Furqan, Quran is Furqan, and that's all. Don't go beyond what your prophet said. So now, don't go beyond what your prophet said. Show me that Adam is the word of Allah and a spirit from him. In Adam. That is Show me where in that verse says, because Adam is kun fayakun, that he proves oh, the word goodness. of Allah. The very verse you're using actually proves my point again. Show that to me. It doesn't explicitly say he's the word of Allah. Say it again. I don't want to say it again. Wait, wait. Say it out loud. So it, doesn't, it doesn't explicitly say he's the word of Allah. Okay. That's what you're asking. Even though in that same chapter that you read, Jesus is explicitly said to be the word of Allah. Because in chapter 3, verse 45, in the very chapter where Jesus is likened to Adam, in that same chapter, Jesus is again called the Word of Allah. In chapter 3, verse 45. But in that chapter, Adam is still not called the Word of Allah. Wow. Go to chapter 3, read verse 45. And mention when the angel said, O Mary, indeed Allah gives you good tidings of a word from him, whose name will be the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, distinguished in this world and the hereafter and among 
those brought near to Allah. Okay. Now, when it says Kalima, oh, Kalimatin, yeah. Minhu. Minhu. Okay. Now, you know about Arabic grammar. I think you do because you're reading the Arabic, and I'll give you the benefit of benefit that. We know that Kalima is feminine in feminine noun, right? That doesn't mean it's a woman. It just means that it's feminine noun, right? Yes. Okay. Now, the the word for whose name, what is it in Arabic? Whose name is? What is that in Arabic? Say it so everyone can hear you. No, the word where it says, a word from him, whose name? In Arabic, that phrase, whose name is what? Ismuhu. Okay, Ismuhu, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that feminine or masculine? Ay, ay, ay. This is feminine. No, read it again. Ismuhu <laughs> is not feminine, it's masculine. Oh, sure. I mean, I don't really even oh, know about the whole feminine masculine. Okay, thing now here's the point. Karimat is feminine. It's a feminine noun. But the word Ismuhu is masculine. Why would the grammar of the Arabic change? Where you have a feminine noun, but the word here is masculine, because the rules of Arabic grammar means that if it's a feminine noun, then that phrase should have been feminine, but instead it's masculine, and I'll explain to you why. Because this word is becoming an actual person. The word is a male named Jesus. He is the word, the word is him. That's why it goes from a feminine noun to using the masculine form of his name, showing that the word is an actual person and not simply simply created by God's command. You aware of this? Okay. I don't I'm not familiar with this topic of feminine, masculine, okay. Arabic. I'm not really familiar. So I'm okay, not that's fine. On this. Put it aside. Okay, but let's let's keep it on that point though, so we don't lose you here. Since in this very chapter, again Jesus is said to be the word from Allah, in the very chapter where he's likened to Adam, why is it Allah goes out of his way to say Jesus is the word, but still falls short of saying Adam is the word? Why can't he make it explicit? Because this is Allah's truth. We don't know why. This you should know why. You should know why, because the Quran says that because it is a book that explains everything in detail. How come Allah forgot to explain this in detail? This, I mean, when you look at certain prophets, they have certain nicknames given to them specifically for yeah. them that could be applied to my others. My brother in so humanity. This is just, my brother in humanity. You're making my point. Every prophet may have a unique title and characteristic because he had a unique function. You know you're making my point. Jesus has unique titles because he's unique and different from these other prophets in this respect. But you're arguing the opposite. You're saying Adam is also the word of Allah and therefore can be called that. But you just made the argument each prophet has a unique title. Yes, so now you're making my case. Jesus is uniquely called the word of Allah. No one else, not even Adam. So what point are you trying to make? Okay, so if you look at the whole Quran in general, there's verses that clearly dispute what you're trying to get at. That say he's just a man. He's yeah, a normal you, you human understand? being. Who's just a okay, my friend, you understand? Listen to what I'm saying. You understand that I don't believe the Quran is perfect and that it's full of kind. Oh man. Gonna make a lock pick after this. Sell it and make some money. Contradictions. And I'm showing you the problems with your Quran mm -hmm. so that you can see. So, yes, I know the Quran is going to say Jesus is but a servant. But then I'm telling you, how can he but be but a servant when he comes down from Allah as his work and as a spirit? Aren't you getting the point that no, your book this is full is of your, contradictions? This is what you're adding on to it. You, none of this is said. I, I, I added on to 4171. I added it. 4171 is not in your Quran. That does not say all the stuff you're saying, man. Wait, wait, hold on. So if I say to you, hold on, okay. Oh, wait, 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 let's go. I say to you, the Quran, Kalimatuhu al-Qaha illa Muhammad. The Quran is Allah's word cast down to Muhammad. Would you deny the Quran came from Allah, from above the seven heavens? It did. Say it again. 
It did. It did. But that's my point. If I were to use that phrase for the Quran, Quran, kalimatuhu, alqaha illa Muhammad. His word cast down to Muhammad. You say, yes, the Quran came from Allah above the seven heavens. But when that language is used for Jesus, no, it can't mean that. Why the inconsistency? Because you are, you're basically trying to get at that. It's like coming from the clouds. It's coming down to the earth. And like, this is not, Where when it says, come from? You last someone, it doesn't <laughs> mean like it's. Oh gosh. Eight, three, two, two. Yo, yo. Yo, yeah, what is it? Man? Uh, you know, just chilling, you know, just living life. Yes, sir. Where can I get a phone from, bro? A phone? Uh, shit, yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So, what we do out here, man? Man, we just, you know, yeah. you know, around here, brother. <clears throat> yes, sir. All right, all right. In today. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a tour. Come on with me. Yo, where can I get a BMX from, bro? Yeah, I'll give you one. No worries. Um, so over here is, you know, this is the, uh, you know, cell block. Oh, uh, this is where you get your job, you know. There's a couple jobs on here. What job should we do, man? I mean, I'm just doing some uh, good old scrap, you know. Scrap, scrap, there we go. Um, you know, uh, these are the sales and shit. Um, yeah, I clean my shit, man. My shit over there. Uh, just be careful. I don't know who's is who's. They're not labeled, but uh, later in the day, you'll see, like, names on them. Yeah. All right, just don't go into those sales. I don't want you to get killed. Man, I need a fucking army to bring my shit down. Yeah, uh-huh. All right, um, over there in 8 Alpha, that's the infirmary. You go up to the front desk and you just talk to the good old uh, person, okay? Here you go. Uh, this way. <laughs> Uh, this is where we eat our grub, you know. Yeah, when you man, well, do some grub right so now. So look, the only shit. yeah, the only way you eat and drink is if you do work. You know what I'm saying? You get tickets. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll show you what they look like. I bet. Yeah. So then you come up to the kiosk, okay? Yep. And then uh, it gives you tokens. Ooh. And then you get those tokens. And you come on over here. You got, don't drink the green one. That's piss. Green piss, man. Well, what that's what happens when you got, that's what happens when you got yellow bladder. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hell no. Nah. Yellow and blue makes green. You know what I mean? Uh, water yeah. and then food. Let me make some food. Um, the more you work, the more tickets you get. Uh, you know, every once in a while, you know, you might, uh, you know, come around some lost items or some items from scrapping and whatever, or, you know, there's some random ass shit, you know what I'm saying, from like shipments. Yeah. You know, uh, some of the, some of the guys and women, they, you know, they might buy it off of you, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. So, uh, you know. We got guns and shit in here? Oh. Sure. I don't know nothing about none of that. How but, long have uh, you been here for, man? You know, quite, uh, quite a while. Yeah, quite a while, bro. So we got some food, we got the cell, yeah, yeah. anything else? Uh, oh, shit. Um, you know, as you do, uh, as you do more work, you'll learn more, okay? Yeah, you. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the, the motion around here is really chill. People are really good, you know. Um, I sort of like to hear. You know, people, you know, they'll help you. And, uh, you know, just, you know, like, you know, some, I'm not get saying you feet. are. But, you know, some motherfuckers are assholes, you know what I mean? You gotta put them in place. So, you know, just, uh, you know, there is a hierarchy here. So, you know, as long yeah, as you're... Who, who as, run this shit? As long as you're cool with them, you know, you'll be all right. 
Who who run this shit then, man? Oh, I'm sure you'll see them later on. No worries. A bit early right now? Huh? Is it a bit early? Yeah, it's a, it's a little early right now. People are still in their sales. Local DLC it's got them locked shit. up. Yeah. Um. Go ahead and get that. Well, you know what? I'll show you. Come on. Oh, whatever you do, don't beat up the locals. Are they tough as shit? Nah, you can get money from them. What? Yeah, you can rob them. Let's some rob some shit then. Oh, uh. Alright, give me a second. Is that a knife you got? Where you got that shit from, man? Oh, I found it in the kitchen. Found it where? I found it in the kitchen. I think the, the uh, yeah, local DLC, I think they forgot to take it or some shit. I just, you know, I had that. He just come up to me, my fucking, no you. hey, give me your fucking money, bitch. Give me all your shit, man. Yeah, give me that shit, my fuck. Slice and dice your ass like sushi on the fucking block, bitch. What Everything the? he got, give it to Yeah, me. look at that, that's 36 bucks, all right? All right, you know yeah, what I'm saying? No. All right, we're going to rob his ass, too. This will cover the bikes. Bikes cost $50, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that ain't shit. So, you know, you rob these motherfuckers over here, you know what I'm saying, type shit, you know. Yeah, bitch, I'll fucking dice your ass. Yo, Don't move. Yo, got my twin right here. What's your twin? Fuck, man. Don't move. Damn, that shit's fucked. Yeah, they on one, bro. All right, all right, type shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now we ain't fucking homies, bitch. You my prison, bitch. Hold this pocket, bitch. Yeah. Well, that's my twin, bro. Leave shit, him, man. Oh, uh, shit. Twin. I'm sorry, bro. He got to oh, pay up. He got to pay up, G. Yeah, yeah. He got to pay his dues. He raw, too. Fuck, man. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, we got more than enough money. Come on. All right, let's go. I'm going to show you the shortcut. Oh, what's your name, by the way? My name Wesley, bro. Wesley, all right, please make sure Wesley. I'm Gurkwag. What's your name? Gurkwag. How the fuck you say that, man? My name Gurkwag. Gurk, Gurk, you know Gurkwag. Gurk? Yeah. Oh, you got some girth on you, man. Well, I used to be like around 650 pounds, you know, but now I got a whole training team and all that. Must have got some good PTs in here, man. Oh, yeah, I've been working out, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Oh, you'll be all right. Here we go, here we go. Hold on, I'm gonna take that one. All right. Here we go. Oh, you see the other bike? Yeah, yeah. All right, now uh, we go this way. Yeah, that gate behind us is always locked. You can't, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then you go left. And then come on this way. So now, uh, if you ever do electrical, all these boxes over here, all the way across the entire prison get worked out. You know what I'm saying? These boxes right here? Uh, all of them. All of them do. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Some people they just stay in the same area and they just do like the same like six or seven. See, but you know, it just you depends know. on what you want to do, you know. Yeah, I hear and then over here, this is where we do the scrapping over here. Should we get money for this shit? Uh, nah, you, uh, you might buy some stuff, you know? 
Like, uh, so this is my box right here. Hold on. All right, you can have it. No, 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 you can have it. All right, so, so check it out. The most you can carry are four. Okay. Four boxes? Yeah, the most you can carry is four. All right, so you do some scrapping. You take the boxes, then over to this uh, location where you trade them in, okay? Yeah. Now, sometimes you get nothing. Sometimes you get nothing. Sometimes you yeah. Specific miss. Yeah, you know, it's just it just depends, you know, how much they like you, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, you might Better find some shit. Work, man. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much type shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um You know, uh for what I was saying. Yeah, so you might find some shit. Like and uh, then, uh, you know, you might get offered, hey, you know what, like, I'll give you $2 per item or 5 bucks per item. You know, it just depends. It just depends, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the more you come around, the more you might learn from people, you know? That's what I'm talking about, man. So what are you in here for? Man, my wife was cheating on me, man. She, she fucking... Got some, she got pregnant by some man. I had to go and smoke her, smoke the man, and I smoked the baby in her belly. And we, oh, shit. I got my get back. But I don't think it was worth it, man. We ain't here for life now, man. Damn, that's fucking crazy, Jay. God damn. Triple murder, man. Too info. Uh, oh, you know, suffocation. Suffocated someone? Yeah, but I used to wait around. Well, trust me when I say this. I used to be 650 pounds. Oh, you sat on the motherfucker. Nah. I just, you know, like, listen. I had a wife. She used to cook really good food. And one day she overcooked my spaghetti noodles. Okay, I like El Dante. Not fucking much, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I planned to kill her in the bedroom, you know? And I found the best way of doing that was during romance time. So I fucking suffocated her, and, uh, well, the judge didn't really appreciate all that. And I said to him, oh, I didn't hear the safe word. Well, I don't think you need a life for that. Well, uh, I also increased the life insurance before doing so. So, you know, insurance fraud, premeditation, murder, uh, first degree, you know, all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Tough life, man. Man, it gets easy. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Shit, man. We need some more shit to do, man. This shit. What's going on here, man? You want you want those cigarettes? You you smoke? I smoke weed. I don't smoke cigarettes. Oh, uh, don't be a fucking pussy. Bro, cigarettes fuck your shit up, man. Yeah, hey, motherfucker. It's not like you're gonna get out of this house. You die from me, it's all right. Oh, you know, think about it. We in prison. We get, we get free health care, motherfucker. So I can't even smoke this shit, man. You got it. You, go, you almost done there, brother? Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm stuck, bro. I can't even move. No, you're still uh, gathering some stuff then. What the fuck? No way, you're getting here. Take your time. Did you use the cigarette? Yeah, yeah, while I was doing this shit. All right, <laughs> think about, think about EC, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, well, hold on. It's the same digging through this shit now, man. One second, one second. So I can't smoke while I'm digging? Oh, uh, you should be able to. I think my shit got stuck in the fucking trash. All you gotta do is think about, you know, E and C, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, we good, we good. All right, I love you. Now, uh, 
you know, as you wake up more, and uh, the more you do work, you know, Healy is in the kitchen, okay? You said Healy? Yeah, you go talk to him a little bit, and you'll see some numbers. That number will increase, okay? Yeah, yeah. Don't do yeah. nothing. Listen. Listen. Don't I'm do listening. nothing until that number says 100, okay? 100? There you go. Yeah, because he's like, you might, like, so, like, you'll find things, okay? Yeah. And you might be able to do stuff with it. You might not be able to do stuff with it. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. The lower the number, the more stuff you need. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The more, the higher you shit, you get more shit. Well, no, uh, no, not, not necessarily, no, uh, just the more time and effort you gotta put into building shit, you know, putting shit together, piecing it together. Will you build shit? Like, right? let's say, let's say, let's say, right, I got aluminum, right? Yeah. I got 20 of them, all right? Yeah, yeah. And I got, you know, no rep, right? Yeah. So, like, uh, you know, I'm trying to make, uh, let's say, for instance, an example, okay? This sign that says danger, guard dogs on duty, right? Yeah. Well, because I have no rep, it's going to take all 20. Oh, I got you. I got but the you. higher the rep, the less it's going to take, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. But you don't need to worry about that for a while, okay? How long we talking? But uh, it depends on how much you work. Oh, I bet. No doubt. And it, it takes a hard minute. <laughs> it's a struggle, I bet. It is yeah. It is, man. It's okay, though, you know. Yeah. Use battery. Yeah, yeah. Hold use battery. Shit for one use battery. Yeah. But, like, so. Yeah, I, see, I see what you mean now. Yeah. This shit gonna take a while. Now the best thing to do is like sell those type of things or like give those type of things away. Cause there's really not a lot you can do with it, you know? Dude, I can't do shit with this. The only thing I can do is give it away. <laughs> but um... It is brazen, um, don't go into, what tower is it again? I don't remember. Don't go into tower five. Five or six, maybe four. That's where all the fucking cum blast stains are, okay? That sound like my type of place. Freaky motherfuckers. Yeah, I don't know, man, I'm just seeing, it's kinda wild, you know? Down the wild. Over here. So, you want to think about mechanic. And then, you know, coming on in. I'm uh, prying the door open. Don't worry, I'm prying it open for you. There you go. There we go. Oh. All right, there you go. All right. Now, uh, over here. Oh, wait, fuck, wrong door. Over here. You can change your, you know, change up your clothing. This is where, you know, you gotta have like orange, like majority orange, you know what I mean, type shit. Yeah, I, I don't think my, I, I don't think they got sh any shit that fit for me in here, man. I uh, know, I'm just like, you know. Uh, yeah, 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 no doubt. I'm too big for that shit, man. And then, uh,. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Well, uh, got the jobs and all of that good stuff. Uh, you like tattoos and shit? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, so that's gonna be in uh, the other building. But uh, I gotta run to myself real quick. Come on, man.
This is mine. Uh, sometimes I like to sleep in this house. You can come on in. All right, uh, just give me a second. I'll just show you what you on the top one. Yeah, all right, come on. Uh, space planet. Oh, this motherfucker got a sleeping bag and shit. Uh, they, uh, that's the rug. And, oh, yeah, that is a sleeping bag. What the hell? All right, well, come on. That's Indy's locker. You said that what? That's Indy's. Indy? Yeah, Indy is, uh, Indy is, uh, um, you know, I'm gonna leave this bike here for a dough take. You'll see a bunch of people, come on. Yeah, Indy's got purple hair. Duct tape is called uh, duct tape because his face is like red and black, I think. I don't know. This is where you check in I was talking about, but uh, over here. Oh, yeah, just the infirmary. I'm proud of it, old man. No way. You can do it. There you go. Oh, my big ass is right. good for this shit. So over here, you can kind of change up some shit, you know what I mean? You got plastic surgeon over here. And over here, you got tattoo. Oh, shit. My, my body built different, man. I can't use this shit. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, you might be able to talk to the plastic surgeon or whatever and get that all fixed up. I don't know. Oh, fuck it, man. I stick with my one tattoo, man. I'm an inmate. This shit will do me. <clears throat> Here are all the uh, the beds that you would wake up in. You know what I mean? Yeah, you wouldn't speak to the guy at the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, though, the only thing you need to worry about. <laughs> It's just, you know, chilling and, you know, meet and greeting, I guess. Oh, wait, what the hell is that? Rat. Dirty ass rat. Hey, don't ever talk bad about the rats. Bet there's lots of them in that shit, man. Don't ever talk about them like that. I don't like rats, man. I'm scared of them shits. Yeah, I feel that, but trust me. Oh, uh, what's her name? Cassie? Uh, yeah, she'll fucking bonk people for talking bad down about rats. She likes rats. She a weirdo, man. Who the fuck likes rats? Oh, man, she don't crazy. say that. No, don't say that word either. Don't say that word either. What's wrong with that, man? Try to lose that from your vocabulary, trust me. I don't end up getting fucked up. Trust me. I say nothing to get you, uh, you know, I'm trying to help you for the long run, brother. Yo, I appreciate it, man. Sometimes we do some fun shit, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. we like lockpick the buses and shit. We do a thing called, uh, surf busing or bus surfing or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, Oh, there. Where the hell? Yeah, we, we do all types of shit, you know? Sometimes the, uh, the friendly people, like our friends and shit, they'll come and drop food off for us. Instead of eating that shit out of the canteen. Hey, you can pick up these boxes right here, too, brother. You got, you got two boxes right here. 
Oh, they mine? Yeah. How many can I hold? Oh, you can only hold four. All right. So if you do like two pickups, then you can go ahead and go, you know? Some people. So, I get wait. one box from when I dig through this shit, just one box. No, it's good to take, take the two. Uh, some people, what they do is they'll sit here and pick up like 20 boxes and they'll lay them on the floor. And they'll put their name down like this type shit. See? And then they'll stack them. They'll, they'll pile up all their boxes so they'll have a name here and a name by the door with all their shit. How do I do that, man? How do I run my name? Uh, you wanna... Well, for me, it's a little different. But I was thinking deeply about all my muscles, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, one of them. I ain't done shit in my muscles. My muscles natural. I gotta take through that shit. And oh, I'm that. natural, too. I'm all natural. Just sometimes I think a little bit more about which muscle I want it, you know, to improve and not improve, you know? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I got four boxes, let's go. Well, I could just leave them here and dig it through this. Hi, hi. Hey, got the job done. Where'd you want to meet? Same place? Perfect. Um, <laughs> same place. Yeah, I'll be there in five minutes. Girl okay. Box. All right. Sounds good. Sounds oh. good. Oh. Hey. hey oh. Box. <laughs> what are you doing over here? <laughs> what What do you mean? What am I doing over here? You literally just dropped us off right there. <laughs> <laughs> Whose warehouse is that? Don't worry about it. Hmm. Okay, you cannot be secretive if you want to work together. I need to oh. know who you're working with too. Serious. Stand here. Stand here. Stand here. Kevin. Kevin Ram. I work with him. Kevin Ram. Kevin Ram. Kevin Ram from Besties. How yes. many lifers can be around, man? It's business. The most. What? Yeah, the, how many lifers is usually around? Like, well, what's the most? When? When's the shift full? I don't know. I don't know. A lot of time in the. Uh, Nah, I work from the morning to the afternoon. Nah, but I mean, saying, just like, 12 deep. The tr oh, it's just 12? 12, 12 can fit on the train? Uh, I believe so. I bet. So each time I drop these boxes off over there, I need to go check check my rep with the guy. Uh, <clears throat> well, no, it takes a while, a long time. Does that make you know what I mean? Here, like, uh, here, get your get your yeah, get your boxes. Uh, let's go over there. I'll show you. Hold on, one second. Box, man. Well, you know, you just gotta keep on digging. My hand dirty and shit. Yeah, 
Zaley. Let's go, Healy. Yeah, yeah. He a real homie, you know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's that man, Healy, man. Yo, he liked me a little bit. So good. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes what you'll notice is like, uh, oh, my leg hurts. But uh, anyways, sometimes what you notice is like, you know, if you work really, really hard, sometimes it won't move. Sometimes you gotta wait till you wake up. I gotta go see a doctor. I'll be back. Ow. 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 What the fuck am I? It's right. What do y'all do? I'm a dasher. Okay, what do you actually do? <laughs> I'm literally his dasher. You're a door dasher, really? Yeah, I mean, I asked Aziz, he was there. Who's Aziz? I mean, oh. Yeah, Ilahi. Alif Marra! Alif Marra, Wala! Get me! Get me! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Get me! Aziz, is that you from the grave? Shut up! <laughs> Salim, who is with me? Are you sure, huh? Bass? Bass? Yeah, 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 yeah. My little bitch, yeah, don't do that. Who's that? My cousin. <laughs> oh. Every time I go to light a cigarette, while I got a box in my hand, my shit don't move up. My feet get stuck. What happened? Every time I go light up a cigarette, um, I got the yeah. box in my hand. I just uh, my feet get stuck. Yeah, whether move. yeah whether you have a box or you don't have a box, that's what happens. You know what I mean? Oh, but I couldn't. My my, my cigarette just didn't, didn't exist, man. That shit. Well, I couldn't see that shit. What's going on? Hold on. Let me drop this shit off and light it up. Oh, there you go. Oh, I don't be a pussy. Man, I ain't had a cigarette in years. Strictly weed. It's no different, just the texture, you know? No, this tastes like ass, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, but yeah, okay, no way, no way. Take the stress away, that's all I need. Yeah, think about it like that, you know? Yes, sir. Shit. So I had to get your tattoos there, like, brother. And I got them in another city, man. I need, it's, this shit, I got them in prison. Hell oh, yeah, hell oh, yeah. This some fake ass shit, man. They don't even look good. Yeah, no way, no way. You know, uh, print tattoos are the best tattoos to tell a story, you know? Yeah, I got this shit for free anyway, so we good. Yeah. My best one's on my back, man. Look at my back. Yeah, yeah. That 
That's my favorite one. Yo, this shit some long ass cigarette, man. I should should have smoked that already. Well, you know, you kinda smoking it like a little, you know, part of my friends, but you kinda smoking it like a bitch, you know. It ain't that bad, man. Just perfect damn. Man, I'm sucking the shit out of this. It was kind of nice. I, I thought I didn't you know. Last time I had a cigarette, I was free. I wasn't even in jail. But this shit tastes kind of nice. Yeah, the menthol. Get a little minty, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Mm. We need to uh, need some weed, bro, man. Can we get some weed in here? You want some weed? Let me make a phone call. Let me see what I can do. Yeah, I need a joint, man. I don't know if, uh, if I'll be able to get some or not, but I, uh, let me find out. Do your best, bro. Let me make a phone call, right? Let me say, let me say, um. Yeah. Mm. Well, hold on. Let me go to the let me, let me find. Hold on. We need no rush. Yeah, I'll trade it up for some, you know what I mean? Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, most of the people I, uh, I get shit from there, you know, me up a little later, you know. Uh, yeah, shit no more. I don't see them on the lemon list. Oh, you got someone else, man. Yeah! Uh -huh. Him, what up? What's up, bro? Oh, wait, what's your bro? name? My name's SK, man. I'm a champ. Oh, what up, SK? What's good? What's good with you? What's good with you? Oh, you know, just chilling, Jay. Chilling for? Uh, gang related shooting. Gang okay, war shit, okay. you know? Damn. Yeah. It looks like you. Uh, shoot a lot. Like yo, how they catch your ass, Jay? I got my ass gone down, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, mm -hmm. bro. You gotta, you gotta keep a head on a swivel type shit. You know what I'm saying, bro? Mm hmm. It's true, bro. It's true. Uh, like 100 months? Damn. You yeah, in here the wild, man. I mean, you know, you wanna get out quicker? Yeah, you might need anything. I'm down to help you with some shit if you need well, something. Well, we could do some, uh, we can do some, uh, kitchen work or something, get you out. All right, say no more. Yeah, I got smoke, bro. I can't lie. Tough out uh, there, man. It's tough out yeah, there sometimes. One day I'll be out there.
Yeah, what so what? Uh, for, bro? What you got life for? Money. Yeah. Oh, I suffocated my wife in insurance fraud. You, you suffocated your wife and insurance fraud. Yeah. Yo, this guy a freak. You listen to his story, man. Oh, well, you know, uh, she over... All right, well, uh, you know KSA? Yeah. KFC? No, no, you know KFC. Of the chicken shop? No, KFC uh, from prison, KFC. Oh, Cassie? Yeah, yeah, KFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, she, uh, she helped me. She's my workout trainer. So I used to be 650 pounds so you get the whole image, okay? Okay. And, uh, well, uh, my wife overcooked my noodles one day and I suffocated her. And the day before I did, I increased the insurance policy. Probably she over yeah. She overcooked your noodles. Yep. I killed that noodles? bitch. Spaghetti. Bro, spaghetti ain't even noodles, bro. That's a pasta, bro. Well, it's still a noodle, though. It's a hey, yo. Bitch over some spaghetti. Listen, listen. I don't know about you, but I don't like gummy noodles, okay? Shit, man. Uh, hey, bro, that day. Never food. cook you no know, spaghetti, bro. Food. Yeah, please don't. El Dante is the only way, you know what I'm saying, Jay? <laughs> yeah, I'll then say. Yeah, yeah, you know, if it ain't, let me, you know, the right texture, you know. If I think about it like this, right? You got a girl, right? And you like her, okay? And she said, go ahead, lay it down on me, and the shit smells like tuna. You gonna do it? Hell no. Exactly. That's the same thing like pile stuff when it's overcooked. You just can't fuck with it. Fair, fair enough, man. I, I, I like hear that, that bro. Yeah, you see, that's my point, you know. It's disrespectful, you know. So I took my fat ass and I suffocated her. You crazy motherfucker, man. I mean, if you think about it, prison helped me. Now I lost all this weight due to my weight trainers, you know? So, 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 did you, the tax, you tax evaded afterwards? Well, the fraud. well, I got insurance fraud because I got something to do with increasing the life insurance or some shit, you know? And then committing murder. Hmm. So, question for you, yeah? How did you find out your missus was cheating on you, bro? Bro, I thought went from went through a phone and their text were full of some bullshit. Shit, it was pretty simple to be honest. I knew she was cheating on me. I had a feeling she was I, she was barely home. Went through a phone one night and she knew she had a whole ass relationship with another man. And that shit was fucked me up. I just went crazy. Damn. I went and grabbed my shotgun, pulled up to her crib. Put one in her head, and she was. Oh, bro. I, I found out where a man lived. Did the same thing to him. Nah, oh, so what's the what's the guy like? You what? What was the guy like? Oh, he's just some little pussy, man. You ain't shit. Put him in his coffin, man. I do what I gotta do. I'm not gonna lie though, bro. I take it. I take it back now if I could. I ain't trying to be in this shit the whole of my life. Now I'm working in a motherfucking kitchen, man. What's yeah, that be a good prison bitch and shit at. <laughs> All over the dumb ass shit, man. <laughs> trying to stir. Trying to stir. I don't think you heard me. Can you get me some weed? I need a drink, bro. 
If I get you some weed, I, could, I, I can bring some it. shit from the outside, yeah. Let me just, I just gotta think about something real fast. Alright, bro. <clears throat> if you get any, uh, anything from here, let me know, okay? Like from cooker and shit? Well, like, uh, some items. Yeah, I ain't got shit, man. Yellow. What time does the uh, truck go in for, uh, maintenance? 10? Uh, all right, I'll be upstairs in a little bit. All right, I'll be back. So how's life apart, you know, from being in jail, you know, pretty decent or, you know? It's all right. It's all right. You know, lots of fucking violence on the outside, to be honest with you. Oh. Every day I'm fucking either shooting or getting shot at, it feels like. What the hell? Yeah. yeah. Well, kind of life, man. You know, you should get a job or something, you know, try to do some, like, I don't know, uh, whatever a job does. Ain't really any, uh, any good jobs out there, bro. It's tough. You got, the only thing that pays is fucking drugs. Damn. Drugs and crime, bro. Robbery. Well, that ain't good, you know, like, shit. I guess it keeps your blood flowing, you know? I mean, think about it. all that adrenaline rush, you know? Yeah, no, you ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. Keep your head on a swivel type shit, you know? Mm-hmm. Hey, if you guys find anything, I'll take it, okay? I got some plastic scrap, man. I'm glad we how how much weed was you on? Yeah, just a few joints, man. Better than smoking these cigarettes. Yeah, I see what I can do when I'm, when I'm on the other side, man. Appreciate you, bro. Let me, uh... You want a shoddy? A shoddy. I want a what? You want a shoddy? Shotgun? Like a shotgun? Nah, nah, nah. Like a lockpick. Oh, uh, I mean, what kind? It's a, it's a, it's a shoddy. Uh, I believe it would be coming to like a normal one. I'll take it. What, what, is it, what, what can I use it on? The vehicles, I believe. I don't know. I'll be back. I'm gonna go make it. Yeah. <laughs> If he's gonna give us, uh, give the dude weed or whatever, you know, I might as well, like... Like, not, you know, so it's, like, almost equal. Fuck do I Oh I need one more off cut. Fuck.
Three out of four. Oh my goodness. When you got out or what? We'll see, man. We'll see. Probably. Ew. You got any uh, steel scrap? Nah, bro. Plastic and rubber. Fuck. I don't have any more fucking scrap. The most delicious, high-protein Korean popcorn chicken with sweet and sticky rice for under 500 calories and 50 grams of protein. It's super easy to make and perfect for meal prep too. Dice your chicken breast into cubes and add black pepper, soy sauce, one egg, and mix well with your hands till fully coated. Now to a large container, add corn flour, your diced chicken breast, then seal the lid and shake well till the chicken is fully coated. Then set it on a rack, give it a spray, and bake or air fry with these settings. They shook them out just like this. For the Korean glaze, add soy sauce, water, ketchup, gochujang chili paste, rice vinegar, honey, and brown stevia. Stir till it thickens and add your crispy popcorn chicken, toss it together to fully coat, then divide it up into four equal servings along with your sticky rice and you're ready to enjoy the most delicious high protein Korean. Take my MDT, push it into the uh, hole into the uh, base plate, push the insert plate down a little bit and then just twist this off just a little bit. Boom, just like that. Boom. Hold on to that so that I, I capture that insert plate with my thumb. Out it comes, pops this off. Boom, and you can tell it has really one way and then we just pop this straight in here like so. Just like that. And it holds on. And you pop it into the uh, magazine body. And then you take your insert plate, get it lined up and hold it in place. Okay, and now the base plate itself just comes straight on top. You just push it down, and there it is. Slushy blue. Come on, I just need one thing. And one thing only. I need scrap. I just need four steel scrap. I just need four. Ah. 
Come on! Oh, I tried. Well, that sucked. I couldn't get the scrap. I need it. What's your time looking like? Well, this shit go down slow as hell. Sorry, what'd you say, brother? Oh, I was just asking what your time was looking like. Uh, 75 months. That shit going nowhere. I mean, it made some progress, you know? Not really, man. There you kind of right. Well, work harder, okay? Get to work, All man. All right, Any anyone care for a dead rat? Oh, yeah, I love them. Wait I love them. Hey, she likes them. Thank you. How do you like your eggs? Fried or scrambled? Both. Both? Mmm, ready. Where's the other man? I can't stand up to Last week I made this video that accidentally went uber viral. I said I would make one meal for the homeless for every time that video was shared. Well, that video ended up getting shared 76,000 times on Instagram and 53,000 times on TikTok, which is so sick. You guys fucking rule. I'm about to smoke some briskets for that, you feel me? The goal with these videos is to partner with big brands like Chipotle or Walmart to work with them because they can feed a lot more people than I can by myself. That has not happened yet, but every time you share this, 
this and you tag a brand in the comments, the more exposure it gets. And it'd be sick to be able to make over 150,000 meals and actually feel like I'm making a difference in the world, you know? Any and all profits made from these videos and any donations are gonna go straight towards this project. I said in my last video I would cap it at 1,000 meals since I'm by myself, but I felt bad. So we also got like $100 in fresh food, $200 in socks, $200 in baby wipes, and $500 dollars in clean underwear last week i made this video congress is a rich man's club that's the problem <clears throat> well hey brother I, i'll be back okay i gotta go make a, make a phone call just keep this up okay all right bro Alright guys, and the stream, have a good day, stay safe, be safe, and all that good stuff. Peace out.